These protests that are happening in Toronto, there's one gearing up in Ottawa uh, in a matter of uh, the next hour or so. And obviously, this renewed focus on broad systemic racism that you heard there from the prime minister, institutions that lack uh, true diversity across this country. And that does include places like universities, in particular medical fac faculties, where, you know, we're, we're going to have the pandemic and these two other stories that we're sort of weaving together. But this year, 24 black students are entering the university of Toronto's medical school. It's the most in Canadian history. And my next guests are among them. Edgar Akufu Adu joins us from Halifax. Mohamed Adam is in Brampton, Ontario. And I'm so glad to talk to you about something uh, really awesome that both of you are doing. So my congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I got to start with you, Edgar. How big a deal is it for you to be, um, first of all, just accepted to medical school, but also to be amongst this cohort, this, these 24 people who have all gotten in at the same time? Uh, this is great news. And uh, first of all, I'd like to send my congratulations to the outgoing class of 2020 and the incoming class of 2024. Uh, this is very, very good news for all of us, especially the 24 black students that were just accepted. Uh, it goes to show that uh, if higher uh, education and uh, other institutions, uh, if they should commit to diversity, uh, they're going to uh, have the outcome that they expect. And, and Edgar, you're from Ghana, and you did your undergrad in the United States, and now you've become a permanent resident uh, here in Canada. Uh, I, I, this, must be, this must be a big deal for you and your family, I would imagine. It is. Uh, it's been a, a childhood dream of mine uh, to become a physician. And uh, when I drew my map, I, Canada wasn't on the map uh, initially, that it would be a place I would come to study. But the Canadian people are very welcoming, and I feel this is my home, my second home, and I look forward to my time in Toronto. And, and Mohammed, uh, congratulations to you as well. Uh, how, how significant is it, again, just, I mean, for you personally to be accepted to med school, that's already a big, <laughs> it's a big deal for anyone, but also to be yeah. part of this sort of historic group of, uh, of black students all going in at the same time. Yeah, honestly, uh, it means a lot to me. I'm super excited to, you know, meet all of my classmates. Um, and just uh, what this means to me, being a part of this group, this historical group, uh, I think it's definitely uh, a motivating factor for many of us uh, that also want to uh, still pursue the field of medicine. But it's also just a stepping stone. Uh, and hopefully in the future, I want to see this as a normal thing where, where all of us, uh, where we have 20, 30, 50 black medical students all across Canada of being course, accepted. Yeah. Uh, well, well, that lets me maybe ask you both questions about the times we are in, uh, because there are uh, protests and rallies happening in, of course, across the United States, but but also in this country as well. Um, and I wanted to talk to both of you because it, it, it's it's an uplifting story. Um, but I wonder how you're living these these past number of weeks. Um, I'll start with you, Mohammed. Just just seeing. Um, I mean, the, the positive part of it, the, 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 the people coming out in support, but also the difficult parts of it, the, the violence, uh, the police brutality, the, the exposed racism. Um, how are you doing with all of that? Yeah, so it, it's definitely a challenge. And, um, but at the same time, it's not something that we haven't seen already. Uh, this is something that's uh, been repeating itself over the years. Um, and obviously, as a black uh, male, this uh, affects me deeply because of, of uh, my own personal exper experiences with uh, systematic racism. But um, I'm also uh, looking at it at, in a positive light as well, where uh, our voices are being heard. And what I like to see is, is policies and, um, and the government to respond and to make the appropriate changes that need to be made so that uh, me, as a, as a black male, can feel safe in my own country. And for me to practice as a physician and also uh, be able to help those that need it as well. So. How about you, Edgar? So you have the experience of living in the United States and living here. And, you know, this, it, it is different, but there we've talked a lot this week about how racism uh, exists in Canada. And we sometimes don't talk about it enough. Well, we don't talk about it enough. That's fair to say. How, how have you been living these past couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, it's been very hard uh, for me to watch and, you know, uh, process uh, as a person of color. Uh, it's been 
extremely difficult, but uh, luckily I have my support network that I fall back on. Uh, Halifax has been a great city with a lot of uh, uh, black people around for you know us to come together and uh, see how we can uh, chart the way forward. Uh, and as Mohammed was alluding to, you know, policies need to be changed uh, to make sure that, you know, people feel safe wherever they are. Uh, and people shouldn't uh, feel safe whenever they stop by the police uh, because they have one skin color or the other. Uh, in terms of being in the U.S. and in Canada, I would say uh, I, I've had uh, instances of racism, uh, I guess, in both countries, but uh, um, there is work to be done, I think, in both countries. Yeah. For sure. Do you, Edgar, see your acceptance to medical school as part of sort of building towards uh, making sure institutions and universities and all parts of society have better representation? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, it's the first step. I think uh, in healthcare, uh, it's essential that the workforce uh, represent the general population. And I think Toronto, uh, you know, University of Toronto is making an attempt to get to that uh, optimal level. And I believe, you know, we getting accepted as uh, black students will empower other students to, you know, apply to these institutions uh, and uh, level the playing field. Yeah. For sure. And, and Mohammed, so, I mean, we're dealing with all of this, uh, you know, this anti-black um, racism and, and the police brutality in the United States during a pandemic, uh, which I also would expect would be sort of a motivating thing for you uh, going to medical school. H have you given any thought to that and how much you want to be there as part of the, the fight against these kinds of things? Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel like this situation is also unique in that uh, the whole world is now seeing what importance that we have as healthcare workers. So just uh, knowing that and seeing how important it is for us to be in the front lines and for me in the future to be there, mm -hmm. um, it's super exciting. Uh, I want to do what I can. And then also, you know, looking back maybe 10 years later, um, I'm going to use this as an opportunity for me to grow. And ultimately, I hope it makes me a better physician. Yeah, for sure. Edgar, how about you on that, on on the prospect of, you know, becoming part of the community that helps fight things like COVID-19? Yeah, it's it's very exciting. Uh, you know, uh, I think more, more is to come in the future uh, as we progress as uh, humanity. So having uh, people who are armed uh, with the skills and uh, the tools to fight some of these diseases is uh, very uh, promising. And I'm, I'm excited to join the uh, workforce. I also, uh, just like Mohammed, uh, plan to work in marginalized communities uh, where my services and my skills will be needed the most once I graduate. Great. Listen, thanks to both of you for making the time. Uh, it's, it's great news for both of you personally and, and for that whole group. So my congratulations again to all of you. I think it's, it's going to be awesome and uh, good, much luck to both of you. All right. Thank, thank you. you for thank us. you. Thank you. That's Edgar Afuku Adu and Mohammed Adam, both about to enter medical school at the University of Toronto. Okay, we're going to go back.